trip Talk for the masses, talk on the phone Talk like you got sense, talk no zone Talk sensibly, oh boy Talk sensibly, oh girl Talk to enemies, aiming at your door First class ticket to the place of no return Snakes in the airplane, he sing crazy They play friendly See what I'm saying when I say you talk too much Hush up and size them up Play card and come out on top I see you winning Talk, 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 Welcome in to another brand new, brand new, today is what? What's today's day? It's uh, March the 18th, on a brand new show with a talk, talk ain't cheap. Not sure if you guys have been watching the other shows. I think this is the fourth one on this series for talk ain't cheap. So I call it talk ain't cheap because it's a lot of things we do has to do with talking, right? You talk, 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 but I believe that talking has a price, you know, has a, always a price for whatever you say. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry for sneezing, but I've had the, not allergies, it's not allergies, because it's not time for allergies yet, but I've had something you know, like in the air, and I've been outside in the cold for a while. But so the show, Talking Ain't Cheap, is that um, I believe that nothing said is for free all right so see that you you got to be able to own up to what you say or you got to be able to take responsibility for what you say that's kind of the price you pay for it so you know and we like to talk I, I like to talk about stuff that happens i like to get into you know conversations on things that happen so one of the main advisory topics for the day is arguments right cheers to that happy sunday Argument is so my basics on argument is when you are not ready for an argument, don't get into one. Don't get into one because when you find out during arguments, a lot of arguments are going out now, like polit you know in the in the world now. So especially in the U.S. politically and socially, right? People are arguing about a lot of stuff. Okay, sorry. So people are arguing a lot about many different things, especially in the political scene or social scene. So what you find out is when people start an argument or when people start a, an argument, they go, they, 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 you know, they, they digress from the argument and it turns out to insults, right? So they, they, they skip away from the actual argument they're trying to make. Rather than make their points, they skip it and they start calling you names. Because when they start calling you names, that means they don't know what they want to say. They, don't, they, they, they were not ready for the argument in the first place. That's how you get people call people names rather than argue their points out. So arguments, when you're not ready, it doesn't matter where you are. It could be at your job. It could be with your friends. It could be with your business partners. It could be in your family. It could be anywhere. When you're not ready for an argument, just stay off of the argument. You can either give in, accept, or say, I don't know, or say, well, this is my point. This, this is my opinion. Some people get away with argument by saying, oh, well, this is my opinion. You know, that way you save a lot of, you know, you can save a lot of, um, uh, you save people some stress and save a lot of misinterpretation or misunderstanding when it comes to what you're trying to say. So whether you're talking about social stuff, political stuff, uh, you know, come with your facts and, uh, and, you know, lay your facts out. You can be strong with your facts. Make people, you want to make people believe what you're saying. Not throw insults. Not throw out insults and start calling names. That's what, that's what we get out there now in the world. And I've just seen a lot of this, so I wanted to touch on it, all right? So, argument is not a must. You can stay away from it. If you're not ready for the with your facts, you can keep away from it giving or just don't get into one all right 
so we go into some new, some new stuff happening with um in the music industry because i look into music a lot i look i look into what's happening and look into what's going on the latest and stuff right so bruno mars so i saw you know he just won a couple um uh, grammys right he just won the biggest grammy i think one of the best new artists or not best artists or some best album but I saw some lady online saying that Bruno Mars is taking the black culture of music and gaining from it. You know, there are some big words she used, but I remember misappropriating black culture. So that he's trying to claim to be black and then making black music and then uh, benefiting from the white from the white folks who give him for the white folks in quotes who give him the Grammys. I did not. <laughs> I saw what she was saying, but I don't understand why she's saying it. Because what I'm hearing is I'm hearing a whole bunch of excuses. Why him? Why? What has he done? But then, if you remember Bruno Mars, he usually gives credit to people or to old folks that he learned from, or folks that uh, he feels that mentored him, you know, indirectly. Folks that he emulated, folks that he he looked up to musically. He he always does that. They play clips of him um, doing the same thing. These are the folks that I I, I go after. All right, and uh, the the excuse gotta we gotta you know gotta tone the they gotta tone the excuse down. If he deserves an award, deserves an award. He makes good music. Kids dance to his music. Adults dance to his music. His music is tailored towards, you, you can tell by his music that, oh, he copied this from this person. And he admits to that he's a good dancer, whatever the thing he does, he has the energy, the stage energy. So he's not misappropriating the black culture, he's being himself, and he it's okay for you to, to look up to what someone else has done, and do things the right way, and create your own music. I'm just be you know be what you want to be, all right. So that's there's no excuses for that. That's for Bruno Mars. So next is I'm Cardi B. Who doesn't love Cardi B? I do. Cardi B is awesome, you know. She's awesome. She's I I, I hope she stays strong because it's it's um I can tell by the way she when you look at her Instagram posts and stuff, you know the way she talks about stuff. There's a there's a lot of pressure. You know, so I hope she stays strong and keep doing what she's doing, and uh, just gotta get the album. I wanted I gotta tell her make a uh, make your album diverse, diverse your album, can it be? You know, we don't. I don't want to hear the same kind of sound music or the the 808 and the sound be the doom, 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 doom. All right, your rap, your your you've shown us your versatile when it comes to rapping, your lyrics. Your first attack was you did the South thing and then you came back and did Bruno Mars and then you came back and did um, uh, G Easy or whatever his name is. You did all that stuff. So we've seen your versatility when it comes to rhyming, you know. So that's what I want to see. I want to see a Bruno Mars kind of record in your album and I want to see your heavy hit records in your album as well. So spread it out because we love you. We, we, we want you to keep winning and keep doing what you're doing. And um, and then that's pretty much it. So this is the Talk A Cheap. This is the Boom J special show. This is my thing that I do because I like to talk about stuff. Um, I I can get deeper, deeper into talking about stuff, but you know, you know, with time, time will tell. But the most, you know, most thing that you know that I do on my channel, I make beats, make music, make videos, home movies, and home videos. Check out some of my videos if you want to see me produce records. I do say a lot of things about how my process and what I do and things that I use. So I'm, I know there is something you learn from it. Even if it's by watching me do it, there is something you're going to learn from me doing it. Alright? From you watching me. Because guess what? I learn from watching people do what they do. So there's something you learn from watching what I do. Then for you watching, I also explain certain things. I also have tutorials on uh, some of the videos, and then I also have good music. All right. So until next time, I appreciate you guys, and I need you to subscribe so that when I do my, when I post a video, you receive it notification-wise on your email and on your phone, just like that. So this is the Talk and Cheap Show. 
the opening record was is the is the soul record, the opening record for this show. Talk 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 talk. All right, guys. So happy Sunday. I, hope, I wish you guys well. I hope you keep um, keep up the truth. Stay away from arguments that you cannot control. Stay away from arguments that you don't have the facts. You can give in. It's okay to give in. All right. Cheers and God bless you.